Hey, so, um, welcome back. This is going to be video number two. Um, in this video, I'm going to practice the skill of looking at the camera. So, um, I thought that, well, firstly, before I even begin the video, let me say thanks for all of the people who liked my last video and subscribed to my channel and left a little comment or, you know, a little... You know, just all of the love was really appreciated. And I think that's the great thing about this community is everyone is so warm and welcoming and it's great. So, um, I guess I'll just start with a little bit about myself. Um, I live in Louisiana and so, but I live pretty close to New Orleans, which is like, you know, the home of Voodoo and Marie Laveau and all that fun stuff. And, um, so I did a lot, I was in New Orleans a lot when I was younger and littler and in Jackson Square, which is like, um, it's kind of like the center of the French Quarter, kind of, um, there are tarot readers all over, um, and so I saw tarot my whole life and I was always really interested in it and... I have the most amazing parents who never stopped me from doing or exploring anything that I ever wanted to do. So I, even though I was raised Catholic, I was not one of these people who like the tarot was an evil thing or I shouldn't use it or, you know, whatever. Um, so I always was interested. Um, I love the Rider Waite Smith, which leads me to this, which is my oldest deck. Not oldest, like I've had it the longest, oldest, like physically it is the oldest. It was printed before all the rest of them. Um, and it is the Delorance Tarot, and uh, this is the box. So literally it just says that on the front, and I'll kind of get into why that is shortly and my box does not have a top which doesn't totally bother me um obviously it'd be cool if it did but you know whatever um and i'll i'm gonna tell you a little about a little about this deck um and you know how why it's special because it is special um so the delorance company um it was a mail order catalog, basically, and he distributed it. Um, literally anyone who asked for a copy of it got a copy of it, so you didn't even have to pay for it. He just would ship it to you, and it was a um, it was a mail order catalog for occult books and you know paper products that kind of thing. Um, and somehow in around nineteen sixteen ish. He got a copy of the, what we now call the Rider Waite Smith, which is the Waite Smith deck that Ryder and Company in London produced. Um, so he got a copy of it. The images of the cards were not copywritten, copyrighted, copyrighted yet. There's the cat again. Um, they weren't copyrighted yet, so he decided to use his printing technique that he used for all of his brochures and his um, catalog and stuff to produce that exact... It's literally exactly the same. Like, you'll see whenever I show you the cards and everything. But, so... Um, basically, the way that it worked, it, would, it was really cool because he was able to produce loads and loads of these full 78 card tarot decks but he could offer them to people really cheaply so instead of having to pay like taxes and import fees and you know the cost of shipping of like the rider deck from london he was able to offer it to literally anyone in america at just like pennies on the dollar 
So literally pennies on the dollar because it was 1916. So it was very cheap. Spoiler. Um, so basically the, all of the cards of all the decks were, um, a five color process, but it only used two inks to do it. So they all were just one of the inks in all of them was black, but it really looks closer to indigo on the cards. You'll see it's definitely closer to like a navy than a true black. And the reason that they all had black is because that's the ink that he used for the all of the typeface on all of his um on all of his catalogs. So that was the first color. And then the very first deck that he introduced was yellow. So it was a yellow and black but the cards were fully square they didn't have rounded corners at all that was produced between 1916 and 1935 and then the next color that he did was also yellow but these had rounded corners because he realized that like playing cards it made more sense to have round corners and the second the rounded cornered yellows look a little bit darker. They're a little more orangey looking than the original yellow. And then the third edition, which is the edition that I have, was produced between 1955 and 1962. Um, so this was even before like the Albano weight and even before um, the university books deck that people really love and like to um like to buy and stuff and collect um so yeah that was the second one and then the last edition was red it kind of gets a bad rap because apparently the printing was not as great on that one it was produced between 1963 and 1980 when DeLorence uh went out of business as far as I can tell um and apparently that deck also was the least popular because by the time 1963 rolled around, the University Books deck was out and it was it offered a full color deck. So it wasn't just kind of monochromatic like this one is. Um, so the orange deck, um, which is the one that I have, was printed twice. There were two print runs during the orange season and the first one was a lighter version the one that I have is the darker one it is more tangerine kind of colors and it almost looks red on camera but it's not red in person and the back I'll try to get a good mm, kind of Basically, it's orange with, like, tiny little white dots. So, I'm going to flip the camera and then do a little walkthrough. I'm not probably going to talk about the cars much because they're obviously the same cars that we all see. Um, but they are really special in that I've never seen a deck that looks like this. I've never seen a, like, kind of all monotone deck. So, be right back. All right, so here we go with the walkthrough. Um, at this angle, you can kind of see the, you can see the backing better. See how it's, um, oh, well, there's that. See how it's tangerine colored, it's more orange, and it's um, just got those little cream colored dots, which are really cool. So the backing I really like, I think it's really fun. It looks cool, like the colors look really great together. I mean, I suppose it's the same color, but, you know, how it kind of plays on each other. Um, so, there's the Fool. The other cool thing about this deck is the font is Pixie's original calligraphy, which is changed on a lot of modern decks because, um, just for the consistency of the overall look of the card, even though it's printed with different languages. Um, and since it's her original calligraphy, it's, I'm sure, hard to reproduce that. And so a lot of modern tarot deck, you know, creators just end up going with the typeface that's similar, but not exactly the same. And I think this is so special. 
Um, so there's the fool. Here is the magician. And you can see that it still even has Pixie's um, signature on it, which is cool. There's the High Priestess, the Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant. There's the Lover's card, and this one you can see really well. Do you see how they layered, like, there's obviously the little black dots on the little mountain there. And then they put the little orange dots right on top. And then the people's bodies are made up of tiny little orange dots. And even like the background of the cards are little tiny dots. So it's just really cool to see that. Um, so there's the chariot. The strength card. And there's something about the way that it's done. It's less like muddled looking, like the simplicity of the colors and everything. Then it makes the lines really crisp and really like easy to see. And this is such a cool, like the way that they did the coloration on the hermit is so cool because it's like he's cloaked in this like darkness and, but then he's got the tangerine color like just like bursting out of his little lamp and then the wheel of fortune another really cool one justice super cool i really like the colors the coloration and it's fun because like even though it's only technically like they call it five colors like it looks like so many more shades even though it's not like mm, there's the hanged man death. I also like how the way that he chose to put the colors like really highlights like in certain cards it highlights things that you wouldn't normally notice like the sunset I mean or the sunrise I guess depending on how you're looking at it but uh, the little sunrise in the back so it really adds a kind of depth to the card that you may not have really noticed right off the bat. Um, there's temperance The devil, which is kind of fun. It makes the devil card a little less kind of like gruesome looking. He's like a little softer looking. The tower. The star, which is cool. It kind of has like a little David Bowie look with that little orange hair. The moon. Such a cool, just so cool. The sun, and um, there's a the little baby, but somehow when it's all this pretty tangerine color, it's like, who cares that the baby is there? Like, I don't think it's that creepy. A little judgment, the world. And now we're going to move into the minors. So here's the ones. The two. The three. It's cool to see like how they lay out next to each other too. Because like some of them have like tons and tons of orange. Like the three and then the two only has kind of a little. So that's cool too. So there's the four. And see how it really does highlight, like, here are these little people here that, like, I I mean, I'm sure that you could notice if you really looked, but the way that the orange is, I mean, you can't help but notice them now. Um, so, yeah, there's the five. Here's the six. And the seven. the eight and it's fun because like sometimes they even look a little on the brown side the 
nine, the 10. Again, such a cool, just aesthetically, I think this is so cool. And there's the page, the knight, and fun little pyramids, the queen. And the king. And then there's the pinnacles. See, again, like, this looks to me like he's pouring something. There's just little things that you, I didn't think that I was missing that I guess I am missing. Um, yeah, so there's the four, there's the five, just a beautiful five. It's so, I love just like the contrast of the black and white and the little church window there, just really looking vibrant. And this looks like little anchors to me. I don't know if that really is what it is, but I didn't notice that before now either, so... And there's the little six, the seven, the eight, the nine, the ten. This is another one that is normally like really kind of muddy looking and really kind of difficult to interpret. And for some reason, just the way that it's color really makes a difference like you can just really see the details better so page knight queen king see it's just there's something about it that's just better i feel like you can tell that they're grapes but like they've only colored the leaves which just makes it look so much cleaner and just like easier to deal with. So now we're in the swords. I like how some cards are just like very minimally orange. And even like details in the stained glass. This was, I think, a really underappreciated deck. I mean, as far as I don't see, I haven't seen a YouTube, I haven't seen a walkthrough of this or anything, ever. Um, and also I would like to just say that if you want more information about it, um, waitsmith.org is where I got the majority of this information because aside from that website, I don't think that there really is a lot of whips, you know, a lot of information around and you can just like really see here, there are people back there. Like, or I mean, it looks like people to me. So it's just like, there are things that you just don't notice in a regular, I mean, the older editions of the yellow box US games and the blue box, you can notice like details and things, but like on the new ones, you cannot tell that these are, um, astrological associations like I mean I guess if you knew that that's what it was already but I don't I really just don't think that it's that clear um so there's our tin and there's just something about this it's l more approachable to me this tin is much less menacing this tin of swords far less menacing than a regular one and I think it has to do with the colors like the color and I'm, typically I do not really love oranges and reds. I really am a blues, greens, purples kind of person. But there's something about these, this color combination that's just like the grays, the, you know, the bluey black, and the tangerine. It's just like so, I don't know, it's just better. There's our queen. 
and the king. And now my favorite suit of all, which is the cups, which makes sense because I am a Cancer Sun. So there's our ace, the two, the three, the four, just so vibrant. Like, I just love it. There's the five, and like, it even looks like this is more like on the red side. Just so cool. All these little details. The seven. The eight. Just, this is such a cool, I love this little sun-moon combo. I think that would make a great little tattoo, just like small. There's the nine. Again, typically this is really muddled looking, and it's not muddled there. The ten, there's just, I don't, there's just something about this muddled little rainbow. It's not muddled, it's like little monochromatic rainbow. Like, I know that that's what that is. Like, I think even if you didn't see the original Ten of Cups with the little rainbow there, like, you would just, from aesthetically the shape of it, you would know. And you just notice little things like, this looks like a little house to me. Like, is it a little house? Who knows? But it looks like a little house. And there's the page. And the night, again, the colors are just like, well, I should say color. There's the queen, and there is the king. So, yeah. Um, I will say, if you're interested in getting this deck... The most important thing to do is have patience. You can find it. It does show up. Frequently, it's pretty pricey. Like, way too pricey. Like, I... I mean, I found it really reasonably. And honestly, um, I think it's probably because the person that was selling it didn't really know what it was. Um, so... Yeah, if you're interested in them, in this deck, in the four variations, um, I've even seen the yellow, the square yellow, which is the original one. I've seen it sell kind of recently. Um, you just have to be patient, very patient, and very diligent. You have to constantly be checking, constantly be looking, constantly be searching, and it is possible. So yeah, hope you enjoyed my second video and my probably my favorite version of the RWS. So thanks.